the blog. One love from Jamaica. Peace and love to all mankind. Good day, Delroy. Yeah. And thank you for receiving us today here at Anchors in Kingston, the yeah. studio where you are the, the senior engineer. Yeah. So why did you become a studio engineer and how did you reach this position of senior engineer here at Anchor Studio? Well, it's a love of music brought me into the music business. I uh, grew up downtown Kingston. You know, you had the Randy's records, you had Joe Gibbs, everyone, you know. How old were you at this time? I was a kid, you know, walking past um, Beeson Street and seeing Bob Marley them and, you know, the whole thing. Derek Harriet, Randy's up Orange Street, everywhere. And the, and the, the guy that had the little fan with the music, you know, you know, I, grew, um, I went to school on Druk Street where the parliament building is, um, St. Aloysius. I went to Kingston College. So, growing up in the heart of Kingston, music is always around. In the 60s or the 70s? In the 70s, in the 70s. into the 80s, yeah. Oh, it was a, a, a um, nice period for music. Yeah, yeah, oh. and then 83 now, my neighbor was Arrows. He had a sound system and a studio. And, um, he started going to King Tubbies and 83 going to Tubbies at that time that was before the sling thing and all the computerized with him and the lot of dub they were cutting at the time so I started playing the sound system from 83 until you know about 88 after that we decided to go into studio full-time studio it was an eight track recording studio and the rest is history. Okay, and you you've been training and and, and, and going through the yes and I did some electronics. Uh, I did a course in electronics also. Okay. And I was apprenticed to a guy who had uh, he was an electronic uh, technician so So you are self taught? No, I was teach me on a guy named Stevie. Yeah, he, 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 was, he was a technician. Electronics. But you learn on the spot, I mean. On the spot, so. yes, everything. Yeah. Was it a big problem, computer coming? No, because computer, over? at first, it was scary. I was saying, why? You know, all this thing going to happen. Um, oh, it's going to sound. The sound, the quality of the sonics, or the quality of the sound, was what we were, you know, afraid of losing the analog, the warmth, the depth of the analog recording. So, but with time now, uh, it's becoming close, but I still prefer the analogs. So know. we lost it, we lost it still. <laughs> yes, but we, we're getting there, you know, okay. with the good professional equipment and now you record and all that, you know. So you are saying that you grew up with Rasta principles. So where yes, are your locks? My, my, oh, well, my locks <laughs> cannot grow. <laughs> so sorry about that. But my, uh, my mother the, had two brothers by her mother and father. And they, we, I grew up with them and they were Rastas. You know, okay. and we, the whole thing, you know, as a kid, I tell through, you know, pepper pot soup, everything. Are you a vegetarian? You know, I'm a mixture of everything. Oh, oh. And uh, I really eat fish mostly and a little chicken. Okay. So you eat yeah. title food and you eat that culture? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. I, I like natural stuff and, you know. And in what way are you sensitive to the reggae message? The, the reggae message of peace and love and equal rights and justice is what I really feel from my heart. That's the, the message, the real reggae message for me. Can you change the world? Well, I wish the world would change with us, <laughs> you know. But I know it, it's, it's a difficult, it's, to change the world is a hard task because you have good and evil that exists. But the reggae Some, message maybe can help a little bit? It, 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 it has helped. It helped the freedom fighters in Africa and in the Central America during the 70s and the 80s. But, but now, 
the real um dance hall and everything is 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 more commercial it's a different era we're going through the revolution years are not really there anymore in the reggae thing too much most of it is commercial music now so almost of the almost of the music in jamaica is co commercial music yeah yeah because of dance hall dance hall is dominant but you have a lot of good bands like you know raging fire um a lot of good artists chronics porter j all of them you know they're great that you're you carrying know, the, yeah, the, reggae carrying the banner the banner for the, the reggae you know so what kind of artists and producers are coming to work at anchor and for what kind of work uh well we do a lot of live recording you know in the main studio we have a nice good drum set and you know we have uh, everything that we have a nice console and uh, nice outboard gears that you know people always want that warmth that real reggae sound so you can get it here you know so so um, mainly is is roots music dancer? it's roots music most of it okay roots music is dominant reggae and a whole can more you, than dance or, or pop can you pop. name a few artists that are coming that are passed through oh wow so many all of well them? we did an album with with Sly and Robbie with Sinead O'Connor we did do an album also with Brinsley Ford Bitty McLean with all produced by Sly and Robbie um, Michael Franti yeah yeah man, many different remixes and all of that and some for you know artists. I just did a mix um, for Jana in the album in, in art chord and title of the track and You know, some of the more, you know, room, a lot of bands, they come here and they record a lot of things. Because the room is, the, room, the voice room is big enough for yeah, bands. Yeah, for a yeah. band. Uh, yeah. Some foreign artists, maybe you can name some of them. Ah, a lot of them must come to Elko. A lot of them, yeah. Mm. Um, from uh, America. Patrice. Okay. Um, from Europe. Um, Jenkman has done tracks in there. Uh, um, also... We work with so many persons. Um, Bob, Sinclair? Bob Sinclair. Bob Sinclair did a whole album there. In there, I did it. You know. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much um, from France. Uh, wow, there's, uh, there's so many. Um, uh, what the name? Uh, Bouga. Uh, um, Le Mar Le Maroon. Maroon. Uh, Maroons. Oh, Maroons. He uh, maybe is from uh, Martinique or no? Is uh, uh, from one island. Danakil? Uh, no? Universal? No. Uh, so many anyway, people. but uh, I, I wonder so, uh, if there is a difference uh, in the way Jamaican and foreign artists are working in a studio. Um, well, the foreign artists always come with a project. They always come with a song and all that. Jamaican sometimes they come and they cut like some tracks and say, all right, we're going to write to the tracks. It's freestyle. Sometime. Yeah, sometimes. Or sometimes most foreign acts always have the music oh. and everything well coordinated out, you know. Mm -hmm. What are your best and worst memories as a studio engineer? <laughs> <laughs> um the best memories is um the best memories is seeing Simple Red record with Sly and mm. Robbie in the main studio. Um, and that also was seen Sting, Sting, Sting of okay. the Police, you know, coming to anchor them in the 1990s. So, How was the relationship? Did you I wasn't, at the time I wasn't ah. working, I, I just passed through, because at that time I took a break. So what is your, your, your impression of Sting? What kind of person He's a cool he? guy. To mm. me, he's a cool guy. He's okay. cool, he's cool. So you have a good memory of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a cool guy. And Um, mm. The worst so, memory? Worst memory, no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst memory. Mm -mm. Wow. Uh, that's, no. not, that's not fun. It, it, it doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to say that <laughs> one. No, no, no. Uh, that one is the worst memory. Is it easy to relate to artists and producers and to achieve what they require? Are, are you a miracle man? No, I'm not a miracle man, but sometimes I try to put 
myself in their position, some people. And I can, you know, relate to them very much. I listen to people. I listen. Are people too exigent with you? Hmm? Are, are people sometimes too exigent? Because um, they want too much and nothing is Yeah, perfect. some people expect, uh, like, um, I'm Jesus. I'm not Jesus, but, ah, uh, but man. I try to do my best. I try to be okay. as, as good, as, uh, you know, as I can get it. During all these years as a studio engineer, what did you learn about the human being? Well, the human beings have many different sides. Some of them is like Jekyll and Hyde, and some of them is cool. Some of them, from they get what they want, they, they're okay. So I learned about people and their, you know, their soul also. Some people, they, like their, their music is what is their soul. So they got that with everything. So the best artists give fi give out five hundred percent of himself. Yes, yes. The 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 the, the great artists are is, and he's most of the time the great artists are easier to deal with than some, who you know who are trying to be as great. Okay. <laughs> so. And you are you producing yourself uh, a few artists? Yes, I have uh, this young lady, Sikora. She's my main project right now. Come see Kora show. Yes, she's my main project. Okay. And uh, also, I'm doing a dub album also with Mad Professor. Okay. I've done two dub albums, uh, Blackwood dubs and uh, Underwater dubs uh, for a producer by Slam Records with me featuring Sly and Robbie. Sly and Sikora, what is she preparing? Well, we have an EP. T -t 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 we are preparing for a revolution. Okay. <laughs> an EP with a lot of different um, types of music for a lot of different types of audiences, you know. We are very versatile, so we are putting it out there. I'm putting my heart out there. My producer is also molding me to the right, in the right, you know, the right way that I should be where the music is concerned. Yeah. Is he a good, pro a good producer? Of course, he's my manager, so you know, okay. he's mm -hmm. the best. Mr. You learned Patrick. a lot from him? What did you What do you learn from him? Well, I've I've been learning a lot of hearing. You know, he teach me how to listen to quality music. You know, he, he teach me how to listen to different. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. Um, what he has been doing is teaching me how to listen to myself to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm on point. You know, also on key, all of these good things, all the producers, the, 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 the um, how you say this, the, the recordings, he's been teaching me a lot about recordings and to prepare me, uh, as an artist for the world. Okay. So, That's why he's a senior engineer. He has a lot of experience. He yes. can direct people good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So and I give him it, I'm, I'm giving him all of that. It's like a college here, okay. you know. You're learning it's... every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's a good. That's a good thing. So we wait to see your EP soon. You know, when is it going I, to be released? I well, can't summer, wait. Summer. 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 Oh. We're going for summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't Between wait. Between spring and summer, we will get there. Yeah. Okay, but she released already skin. That is a skin. The first is song. Out. Yes, the first song oh. on the EP. It's going on nice everybody love it you know everybody have different feelings they say that it makes them feel real good so i'm i'm very proud of that you know i'm yeah. glad that i yeah. can put out something that people feel like that you know and i'm coming yeah. out with a lot of different kind of thing because i'm i'm also you know a humanitarian so i want to do mostly music for the world you know for the earth mosai you know rastafarian all different kind of Muslims, music. anyone. You want to touch people? <laughs> Everyone, uh, yeah, Christians. I'm, I'm, I'm going at I'm going at the the art and the soul of man. So so it's a universal way of singing yes, and, and yes. a yeah. universal message. Yes, for everybody yeah. in the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm not focusing on one genre. You know, we're very versatile. We're for, we're focused on just healing the world with a lot of positive music. Yeah. Because um, music is not about commercial success, it's about quality. It's a vibration, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. And from the soul. 
to you soul. Give the world. Soul to soul. Yeah. yeah. Uh, connecting a good vibration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Changing the hearts of people. Yeah, yes. man, you want to change the whole of hearts around here, man. <laughs> yeah. So it's revolutionary. Reggae yes. music yeah. is revolutionary. Of yeah. course. Like uh-huh. I said, I'm a humanitarian, so I'm hoping that the message that I'm sending out, I'm hoping that the message that I'm sending out connects the right places, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Uh, We're looking forward to look for what you're doing. Thank still. you so much. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sikora. All right. But, yeah. but uh, Delroy, you, you produce Rad Dixon also. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing something with Rad Dixon. He also has an EP. He's in, he's in America? He's in America, but... Oh. Um, yeah, and then I have, you know, compilation. I have all tracks with Carlton Coffee that's on a compilation named Love Roots and Dance that has Carlton Coffee on it, um, Pinchers, um, it's a mixture, <laughs> okay. it's a mixture. Is it an artist in Jamaica you never met as yet? I never met, ah, maybe some of the young kids, you know, oh. Alkaline, I've seen oh. him, but I never really like. but I know Vibes Cartel from the old school days. You know Just everybody? Him. Yeah, yeah, like Bounty Killer, everybody oh. I've been through. Anybody that come through the early year of the 80s, the 90s, even the 70s, the artists come right so up. What but the young kids, them now, the 2014 and the 15s. The young kids. And Who the, could be the young kids now? Mm, uh, they are Kaline and them, they're, they're, they're young in the uh, industry. They don't come as yet to record that album? No, I never really did anything with Alkaline. Or okay. Most of them are the ones. I done with Tommy Lee and okay. some other ones, yeah, 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 some other ones, so yeah. So what is your definition of talent? What is talent? Talent, talent is a God-given thing. Mm-hmm. It's given, you know, it's given by the most high. Anything you want to say, if you want to say Allah, Jehovah, Rasta, His Majesty, anything. You know. It's a connection. It's a something connection. Higher. That's something that comes from you. you know? So how do you see? How do, do but we... you can train the talent ah, to be better. Okay. So how do we recognize the talent in, in somebody? How does it Natural appear? talent is when a person does have it. You know, and so it, you how know. does it manifest? Like You see it. You see it. You it, see it? It's, 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 it's straightforward. Oh, 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 yeah, you see the, it? No, so from a person who opens their mouth, if, okay. if he plays the guitar, if, okay. if, if he blows the horns, if he, he plays oh. anything, the drums, anything, you know, you say yes, but he can do much better. He can better. do it. Yeah, oh. yeah, if he practice. And who are your favorite artists in today's reggae scene? Oh, well, my favorite artist right now, I like Taurus, Taurus, yeah. Okay. Taurus, Chronix is great. Okay. Great, I like his style. Mm, the female, I love Sikora. I love Shereen Anderson. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, you know, Janine have a vibe. You know, Etana, all of them, and the male side. There's a lot of good artists. I like bands like Raging Fire, okay. you know, um, Morgan Heritage, you know, all of them, they're great. Mm, how, how do you see the evolution of reggae music? Well, it's been... When I came 83 and going to Tubby's, it was the year, uh, I believe it was, John Joe was still in the mix. In the mix. Then there's, uh, you know, Channel One going by Channel One and Tubby's and thing. It was a mixture of Johnny Osborne, all of them people there, and the, the yellow man, everything was apart. But it has... Then the rubber dub days, you know, playing rubber dub. We, we used to have one turntable and we turn over and we play the version and a man would DJ on it. And to me, them days they're going into dance hall and one of the best artists I seen at that time was Rankin Joe as a DJ on a sound system. Rankin Joe was the man. Okay. Um, then um, there was this, uh, Professor Nuts was good on a sound system. It's, it's just been seeing singers singing Frankie Paul, great vocalist. 
you know, okay. Johnny Osborne and um, Tennessee. So many persons, you know. But now it's different. And oh, it's good. Yeah, because um, to me, the sound system was a school. You'd go, you'd learn. You learn about how to sit on a radio, how to learn key, and you know, people, you know, there. In the early days of studio, man would be there in the studio yard, a man playing a guitar, and you come and you learn, a man, you know, you learn voice training. And was it more social before? Yeah, people were living in unity. We never mm. really, because when we entered the music business, there was no money. There wasn't money. It was the love. So today it doesn't happen like this? To people... me, it's too commercialized sometimes. They, they don't gather again? They don't learn no, from each other? No, nobody again. don't gather because I remember. In the 80s, when you go buy jammies and you go buy tubbies, you'd see different guys. They gather and they sit and they talk, they laugh. and The musical yard, yeah, it was yeah. a musical and yard. And then when it went round to Harrow's, Music Works, down by Slipe Road, Penthouse, people would gather and, mm, and, they meet, would, and, and, yeah, and wow. meet and greet and talk about music. And Is there no more like this today? I don't believe so much of that, really. In the main studio at Anchor, facing mm. your mixing board. Yeah. Is it important for you to have that window open on the world? Yes, man. It's, it's good to watch CNN and, and all the news, you know, BBC, to see what is happening in the world. Sometimes it, sometimes it do depress you when mm -hmm. you see, you know, but you still have to know and may, the mayhem. That's happening out there, so but it it encourages you as a human being to to be good. To think about Yeah, think so about the positive side. Be yeah. optimistic all the while. What is the most needed nowadays in Jamaica to achieve social justice? <sighs> well I would say affordable housing for the people you know, a better justice system. Um, there's so much numerous things, you know. The welfare of the, the common man is sometimes is neglected by, you know, government officials or people that govern. We are poor governance in this country, I can say. You know, so. So it's more... And like equal rights and justice for all. And, you know, how can we achieve that by private in initiative without um, re relying to governments? Well, government has to play a role. It's even mm. if the private sector play a role, the government has to play. The private sector, the government has to provide certain um, in terms of framework, in terms of policies that the private sector can grow to employ more uh, and to alleviate more people out of poverty. So, so the solution is within the politicians. The politicians have to make policies that can mm. grow the country. And if you can grow it, if you can grow, then you won't have no more scamming, no more you know, man sitting on a corner. If you can employ as much as possible. You know, how do you see social the, justice is hard. How do you see the evolution of Jamaica? The evolution of Jamaica to me, Jamaica it's society. moving forward, but we should have, I feel we stumbled along the way, some, some, some way along the line, during the, some period between the 80s and the 90s or the 70s, wherever people say, you know, but some, sometimes policies and all of that. Do, do you think I'm it's not a being political? I'm saying the blame is on everyone who has governed our country. Do you think it's a good solution for the young people to migrate? No, because if you're gonna migrate, you're gonna create a brain drain. If if you're qualified, you know, in terms of young persons who are who have gone to like mm, universities and, and colleges to, you know, leave, that create a brain drain on, on, our, on our society. 
But if you were 20 today, what will you do? If you never became studio engineer, if you were 20 years old in Jamaica... I might have migrated too. Yeah, and you'd have no solution. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, because, because sometimes you're not really thinking. Because um, I could have gone, but mm. that's why I love music. I'd always say, uh, you know, I just want to visit and come back. Uh, I never really... I love Jamaica. So there is no so, better place than Jamaica for no you? No better place than Jamaica for me. You know, I've been to Africa on the continent, Africa, South America, and uh, Europe, and I've seen, I've said, mm -hmm. Jamaica is the place to be, you know, yeah. I love it, it's, so it's beautiful weather, <laughs> I no more, no jacket, you don't, <laughs> like, the cold. You don't like the cold, no, 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 I don't like cold, man. no, 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 so, uh, what could we, do, what could be done in any society so that nobody's ending up living homeless in the streets? Well, there are some basic well, things that <laughs> one the government of the thing could is, do. Is, um, I'm not wrapping it, but so these isms, uh, capitalism, and all of them things, and sometimes they create that vacuum in the society where people are gonna get homeless. Because I remember you say when Christmas came on your Facebook page that you, you, you really feel for all these homeless in the streets. Yeah, and yeah. everybody feels for them, but what to do? I mean, what is the government should do something maybe? What's the solution well, they for them? They can places in terms of like um, shelters. Okay. More shelters are needed. That's and food. Needed. Because you have people who are downtown, they're not mad. They're not mental. So how did they, they just they just give up on life in terms of they say all right I don't have a job. They leave their family and they just give up and they, so if the government can provide some form of assistance to help those who can't afford it. So do Jamaican people need motivation or need something to motivate them? Well, sometimes. Um, did they lost hope? Not, yeah, some people have lost hope in the system. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's the because it, that's why when you check the percentage um, in terms of voter turnout, if the true percentage for really don't take away the garrison, you know, where a man tell you have to come out to vote or you're giving him something to vote, the percentage of those who would vote would be like about 25%. Mm. So we lost, we lost trust in the Yeah, people have lost trust in the politician mm. and the system. It's yeah, it's sad, you know. So growing downtown in, in one yeah, community. I grew up in a community called Tel Aviv. Wow. Rude boy town with some real rude boys. So what kind of what kind you of see person? Cloud mass up and what kind of person are you becoming when you grew up in a place um, like this? Advantage. I grew up there, my, but my mother tried to take me away from all that because at the early age I saw man men with guns. I so, saw a cloud mass up with a long gun one day. It was like a, one of them. So what, 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 what do you learn? Is maybe you learn something good. You learn, must learn good things about life to grow up in a place like this. Yeah, well, I grew up that don't follow the crowd. Okay. Don't follow the crowd. Stand firm for Stand you. Stand firm uh, and believe in what you believe. It makes you stronger. Yeah, my mother always said, yeah, don't follow the crowd. She never was a person who... Address our soul, you know. But the environment itself? Yes, um, we had to take ourselves away from it in 1980. And then we went into an next environment. It was kind of a little bit subtle than that one. But we still have a little bit of the rude boy thing one now and then. Mm -hmm. Until 92, I decided to only all of that. Mm. Mm. Make yourself more comfortable. Yeah, more, more yeah, go to a more different place. Healthier place. Or? Yes, and then in the uh, and then in the two thousand now, you know, you live in your own home now and should I say trying to live a decent life for you know, you have kids and yeah, certain things you don't really want to associate with. Yeah, that's isn't and that's why the people that live downtown need, when you say they need some social justice, everybody yeah, yeah, needs they need that. that. You know, social intervention mm -hmm. needed. Because one of the time, they, they, the dons them were becoming like the gatekeeper for the community then. They decided what and what, and then, you know, 
It's a vacuum also. Yeah, there, there was a, a big vacuum that was created by the whole system with the government not doing a lot. So, well, you know, we need more skill training for the youths. Definitely. Definitely, and we mm -hmm. need to be a society, we need good governance. But the Jamaican society seems to be a, a consumption society a lot. People have money to buy a lot of things, and money is there, obviously. So money is in, in, in land, because everybody buy, everybody have car, everybody have big phone. So oh, not everybody. Not that's, everybody. That, <laughs> is, that's, is, a, that's a selected few. That's a, the, you think so? Um, yeah, well, well, in terms of, it's the same thing in America when I go there, you know. Mm. The, the poor people, they try to shop. They try to drown their sorrows to me. That is my conception of it. Yeah. They drown their sorrows in buying. Okay. In the, that the is, a, that buying is the attitude. In, buying into the capitalism. Mm. The whole thing. Is a complex thing I am a, I, I am a socialist by heart. Mm. But socialism doesn't work around here anymore. <laughs> do you believe in a communist system? Everybody. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, what, what do you call no, socialist? Um, what, what socialism is, is that the states do a lot more social oh. programs so that they can do, you know, okay. democratic socialism is, okay. is, is a way. Okay. It's a way for me. To so. me, it could work. You have a democratic way, but the ways is that the state is going to um, you're going to put people to work. Okay. You understand? So you're going to have private sector there. But some of it, the state is going to take on some duties in terms of like, in Jamaica we had the backside and all of that. You know, you put a levy there, which is good, a form of tax. And mm -hmm. you use that to do things to, for the communities and uh, build them up and put people to work. And, you know, and skill, and skill, skill training and Mm. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's and idea. break down the, the zinc fence. I've been seeing zinc fence from the seventies growing up downtown and all about what also everywhere. You know, I had families live all over the city, and you know you've been seeing these places from nineteen seventy five, seventy six to now. It's not getting Wickfield Town, and it's summer. It is not Wickfield Town, uh, Kingston thirteen eleven. You know. We need to too much and the garrison politics cut it out. Only that and you then need to know so yo don't scam people and they need to be occupied. Yeah, they need and, to and, be occupied and, and train even and the music business uh, I feel that more could be done in terms of you know, we see in other countries, you know, you're in South Korea how they develop they have an academy to develop artists and musicians there and all of that. Because it's a big part of Jamaican culture yeah, still. But I know what mm -hmm. beat us, you know, in Jamaica is, is might be the resources in terms of money, the monetary resources. It's not really there sometimes, but we had it one at a time and then we, we blew it, you know. You yeah, know but corruption. Maybe it's the choice of spending or something. Yes, yeah, the choice of spending, yeah. So where can we find you on internet? Well, you can find me at Facebook at Delroy Pottinger and at um, Twitter at Fata um, P H A T T A. No, P H A T T A. Nineteen at Twitter, and I believe Instagram is what the same thing. Fata nineteen, I believe. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fata nineteen. Mm -hmm. Not even. Yeah. So now we are at the end of this interview. I'm going mm. to ask you, you know, Reggae Unite blog is a French reggae website. Yeah. If you have a message for the visitors of that site, it's time to talk. All right. The visitor of the site, I'm saying peace and love to everyone. And I'm saying offer good unto your brother, man. No, no negative, nothing. Think positive. As Bob Marley say, one love, one heart, one destiny. Yeah. That is a Rasta message, that? The Rasta message. Ah, ah. Yeah. You know. So, thank you very much, Delroy, for your answer and for yeah, your time. 
Okay. We wish you a lot of success and a lot yeah, of man. good things, and you know. Keep up the blog. One love from Jamaica. Peace and love to all mankind. Embrace me all the time. Now, how can I express? I'm so blessed to be alive. The moon, it shines so bright. I felt the air as you quickly free my mind. Start a lies above, teach us great and endless love. Mama, you have blessed my heart. How oh, great and powerful you are. You bring me sweet happiness. Good evening, Sikora. Yeah, you are here at Anchor for a recording session. Yes. So what kind of song is it? Is it another mama song made by a woman? Um, this song is a earth song. It's, it's everything feminine, you know? It's everything um, living life, you know? Mother Earth, every mother in the world, and especially the foundation, Mother Earth. So Mother Earth, what does this mean for you? Well, it means a lot, you know? It, it means appreciating life you know it means you know just just understand who you are as a as a person as a woman as a feminine energy and just express yourself and just know your place on earth are you a rasta are you celebrating the earth and the abundance and the nature that that is given to us well, I, I love the rastafarian culture but uh sadly no i'm not i, I don't think I, i'm that um how you say this? That discipline, but I'm working on it. Okay, so what, what nature represents uh, to, for you? Is earth a, a symbol of nature? Yeah, it, it's life in its fullest, you know? The earth is the, the Lord and the fullness of the, thereof. Yeah. So it's a spiritual song? Yeah, it's, it's a, a, a positive vibration, you know? You're very spiritual, connecting all life force together, all earth, you know, the earth, mother, just life in general. Okay, uh, give thanks. You are recording an EP here at Anchor Studio? Yes, I'm actually doing an EP with my producer and manager, Mr. Delroy Pattinger right here. Yes, so we're working on this seven track EP that will be out soon. We just released the first single from that EP called Skin. You can check it out on uh, YouTube. Also, it, it's on um, iTunes, iTunes uh, Spotify. CD and Reverb Nation, yes. Okay, and on Facebook also we can look for yes, you? Yes, yes. Uh, but you can find it on um, YouTube because what I do is I share it on Facebook. So okay. definitely, yes. You can find me at Sikora, S-Y-C-O-R-A-H, on Facebook, Twitter, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, YouTube. Ah, so okay. You are everywhere on the net. Yes, so. I'm everywhere on the net. <laughs> Give thanks. Thanks you. Thank you very much for your your time. Thank you All for right. coming here today. Come on and talk to my baby. Oh. oh, oh. The night is so cold outside I watch you lit a fire You turn me on inside I slowly remove my gun Cause I want your head on my chest And your lips on my breast You know the way this will end When your skin our soul must make a blend My body takes you high Places you've never been Now close your eyes Cause I'll be floating deep Beneath your skin So let me in Know me, control me Show me what you've got Don't stop, don't stop Cause I like it like that My love takes you high Places you've never been Now baby please just relax And watch me flow deep beneath your skin Your fingers send sweet thrills down my spine And when you kiss on my neck mm, Boy you blow my mind I often
something feel like this ain't real cause it's electrifying now come away come and let me teach you how to quench my fire so can you feel what i feel there's a love i can't deny you turn me on and on again baby every time my body speaks for itself of this i'm very sure so let me know if you want it all baby hold me control me show me what you've got don't stop don't stop because i like it like that my love takes you high places you've never been in now baby please just relax and watch me flow deep beneath your skin come on and talk to my baby How do you feel when there's nothing that you can say? When up your gun games and play. And the innocent, I wonder if them are gonna live another day. Now what do you hear? It seems you can't take the pain away. Watching my barrel of somebody figure you over the car's way. Well out, so youths and youths in a shootout. Well, so get a, 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 a youth in a shootout. Wall out, wall out, wall out, 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 out youth and youth in a shootout. Well, so get a, 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 a youth in a shootout. Wall out, wall out, wall out, 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 Now what have you learned? You play with fire, now you should be burned. Say by your sweat, this is what you've earned. So when the innocent are ball of me, why you never stop the earth? Come reap what you sow. You should be perished, but come suffer first. Disclose your eyes and contemplate what a brutal mistake, y'all. Yeah.